1,000 kilometres south of Lisbon, in the middle of the Atlantic stands Porto Santo, a biosphere reserve. It is the second largest island in the Madeira archipelago. Today, a European project is showcasing its windmills and old public fountains, two signs of identity with which the Golden Island is strengthening its tourism while preserving and passing on its heritage. These elements of the traditional architecture were damaged, obsolete and unkept, so there was an urgent need to showcase this heritage of our ancestors, not only to the local population, but also to the tourists who visit us, since tourism is the main economic activity on the island. Porto Santo was for a time home of Christopher Columbus. For decades, the Portuguese island was Madeira's granary, hence its windmills. Most were built in the 19th century. With this project, the municipality has also restored more than a dozen public fountains and wash basins. Residents and visitors alike are reclaiming this heritage, like these secondary school pupils and their teacher. We're at the Fontinha Fountain, which dates back to 1844. And it's curious because later on medicinal properties were discovered in this spring. Before doing this trip here, I didn't know that there was a shortage of water in Porto Santo and that fountains were created to change this. I also didn't know that windmills were used to grind cereals or that there was so much activity in Porto Santo. The total cost of the project is more than 340,000 euros. The European Union contributed 85% and the municipality of Porto Santo contributed the remaining 15%. The project involves the restoration of three mills, 14 public fountains, and a training and exhibition centre. This is the Ecoteca or Count's House, which is open to all and is currently being refurbished. In this transmission of knowledge, we learn that there used to be 30 windmills on the island, but very few are still standing. Three of the windmills, out of use and damaged, have been dismantled and are being rebuilt the old-fashioned way in this company on the island of Madeira so that they will soon be back on their stone bases. Having the measurements of the base, we were able to make everything else that involves the mill itself and use pine-treated wood with the autoclave. So maybe it will hold for 10, 20 or even 30 years.